Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's another video request from one of my YouTube and Facebook members. He wants to actually know how to change the location of Google Chrome, uh, the cache of Google Chrome, and also Internet Explorer, and also change the temp files of uh, the actual operating system to a new location. And the reason for it, he says, is because he's got an SSD drive. And it may be a small SSD drive, and he wants to actually change the location of those. And it's a really good thing to do, because obviously... Uh, SSD drives are expensive and if you've only got a 60 gig drive then you don't want it getting filled up with a load of temporary files okay and this can uh, sort of get really large after some considerable amount of time and also it will cut down on the read and writes on the actual drive as well to stop wear and tear so let's get uh, on with the video and uh, change these locations so what I've done here is I'm assuming that this is a new drive this is going to be our mechanical drive and this will be our SSD drive, okay? But in theory, this is a virtual box, but you get the general idea. So our C drive would be very small and be our SSD drive. And this uh, temporary storage would be our mechanical drive, i.e. our terabyte um, Seagate drive, say. So what I've done here inside here is I've added in a Chrome cache, IE temp, and also temp and the temp folder, okay? These are where we're going to be changing our locations to. So these are all empty at the moment, and this is going to be our browser, Chrome, and also uh, Internet Explorer, and our temporary files, okay? Let's deal with the temporary files first. So what you need to do is right-click on the computer, go to Properties, and then you go to Advanced System Settings. I'm going to pull this down to here. Now once you get here, you want to go into Environment, uh, variables click on there and once you're in there you can see there's two areas here temp and temp okay and these locations are in our local folder app data local and temp folder okay we need to change both of these and we're going to do that by going edit and you can see here what it's going to do so all i need to do here now is put in the actual drive letter and type in temp like so and then on this one we need to do the same thing okay so that's now done and then we're going to click OK here and OK again now that's that one taken care of so what happens here we can see our E drive when we reboot the system all our temp files will be going into this location here and in here okay so this will cut down on the uh, size of the files that will be going across now we need to deal with uh, Internet Explorer so we're gonna go on to Internet Explorer open this up and uh, what you want to do here is go to tools now if you can't see this tools you need to right click on this and put the tick into the menu there so you can see this little uh, tool array here and then go into internet options once we go into here we want to go into settings where it says browser history okay go to settings and then you want to move the actual folder okay and you can see this is where it is at the moment and we're going to move this and you can see the disk space here uh, this is the actual size of it and some of these can actually uh, people like to have this a lot larger but we're going to move this to a new location going to go into our IE temp click OK and now you can see we've got our uh, temp folder now changed and uh, click OK and as soon as we reboot and log off and log back on that will be changed ok so now we've done that let's take a look so now we've got our Internet Explorer inside here, our cache, and also temp here and temp here. We need to change the uh, Chrome now. And this is another simple one to do. There's a few ways of going about this, but I'm going to show you a way that I do it. And uh, we're going to right click here and go properties. And I'll bring it out here. And you can see where it says target. We need to change the actual target here, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go beyond that 
and then go space and then dash dash and then we can put in here disk dash and then cache and then dash dir equals and then you want to put I think it's called parenthesis or something like that and then uh, we want to do e here colon backslash and then we want to put in our name for our actual folder okay what we've got so we're going to change this to chrome and then cache now you can also put a size in there for the change of the size you just add more of these in okay and if you look on um, I will put a link in the description it will give you all the switches that you can use okay for this now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this this actual area here because we're gonna need that in a second click apply and then click OK now we've done that we need to change the inside the registry okay so what I'm going to do here now is go into reg edit like so click uh, reg edit and open that let's just put this back to where it needs to be okay so where we want to go here is to HK classes root I'm going to go into there then we want to go into Chrome HTML if I can find it and there it is Chrome HTML and then shell and then open and inside that command there we want to click on this and this is the actual one we want to check okay so we're going to open this up and you can see here now with this open if I actually uh, paste this into my notepad what I copied earlier this is the actual path we want here okay we want to change this and this actually needs to be well I made a mistake there so I just need to uh, change that like so and that's the area we need to change okay and I'll quickly change that and then okay so there you can see here after there we need to uh, change this so I'm going to quickly add that in like so and uh, what we need to do here is uh, I think there's two there we need to just get rid of one of those so you should see that uh, dash dash and then the actual uh, path here okay that's what you need I'm going to click OK here and then once I've done that close that out and I'm just going to quickly make a mend here because I did make a mistake and I needed just to add in one more that keeps doing that for some reason there we go so we need to change that in like so and then click OK and then what we want to do here is uh, reboot the system And we'll let that load up and we should be pretty much good to go so when we open up our Chrome now and we just click on these anything like that we'll click that closed and we should now start having our stuff going into our temp files as you can see here you can see where I've been opening stuff and also inside the Chrome you can see a cache folder in here now and all our cache data is going inside here okay and that will be the same for Internet Explorer and you can do the same thing for the Internet Explorer you just use it in that manner and you will be able to uh, put all your temporary files into there okay and that's basically how you change the location of your browser and temp files and Internet uh, Explorer browser uh, temp files into a new 
uh, drive okay so it saves some space on your ssd so i hope this helps you out constantine my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also hit that like button guys it really does help me out and i'll see you again in the next video so thanks again for watching and thanks for your support bye for now